if you travel around East Palo Alto Mandela Park, you see a lot of apartment being built up, a lot of soon to be leased or leased from us soon. But those are not affordable housing. They're not housing where our students are going to be in. They're more for employment housing for some of the local companies around. It's part of the irony, right? The school is in a area that's in the past haven't been kind of a low income area, but then two blocks away is the Facebook headquarter. We definitely see the Facebook uh, influence. They're kind of encroaching on the community. They're building right on the peripheral of Facebook. Some of the impact of the economic prosperity of the region is that cost of living goes up. You know, housing becomes more scarce, it becomes more expensive, it becomes more difficult for a family to pay rent. Parents are moving. We lose kids every month. We uh, get new kids every month. What bus do you take? And First or second? Second. Second, the fact that this neighborhood has many cultures that are very deep and each culture is very different. You go through the streets, you can recognize which house has which culture and which culture is this or that or whatever the case may be really. With the high tech businesses coming in, they're changing the culture. It's hurting the community in a way where it's not a community anymore. Like there's no real sense of home because everyone's leaving. People are leaving because the prices are going, getting higher on up because they have people in the high tech businesses who can afford that rent raise. Another influence of Facebook is that they do donate to the school. They donate lots of nice backpack to school. They bring their employee to school to paint the walls, the doors, and whatever. Good or bad, they do bring in support. They also take away support from our school, such as the new primary school. They are part of our district, but not really part of our district. Because of that, we lose some of our students. That So we're, we're forced to play the middle guy, like. You support us, but also you're taking students away. The challenge is how do we continue to make it affordable for our students to go to school in this district. Um, we do not know the enrollment number for next year. We on the site would try to determine what number of classes, who, which teacher are leaving, which teacher are staying, and that's another level of challenges. It's a tricky equation, and I'm not sure what the answer is. Um, I would say more affordable housing, but so far I haven't seen any development for affordable housing. I just hope that in the future, regardless of who tries to come in to the, the neighborhood, regardless of who our president may be, I just hope that you know the younger generation is able to really humble themselves. And I hope they're able to bear whatever may be coming go with the flow because sometimes at the end of the day that's all you can do.